question we get very often from students, from people online, I have kids. How do I keep a gun in the house? Well, number one, if it's not on you, it better be secured. Nobody's got any business if you've got kids in the house leaving a gun unsecured. Every day, somebody in the world, in this country for sure, but all around the world, is shot unintentionally with a gun that was meant to be used to defend people from predators, right? Bad guys. There's no reason for that. There is no reason for that. And this company, uh, Stopbox, came up with a really good product. Thing I will tell you right out of the gate, this is not an anti-theft device. This is not meant that you can leave this out and nobody's gonna take your gun because I could take this out in the garage and take some power tools and break it. It's made out of really durable plastic. It's meant to keep little people's hands away from mom or dad's gun. There's a four digit basically keypad on here and whichever ones that you push along with the front button and you can set a code, we'll unlock it. It's that simple. And inside, I'm gonna make sure this gun is cleared out. I emptied the chamber before we began filming. You can have your gun in there, ready to go. This is actually one that we use, uh, especially if we have a, a party, a barbecue, something like that. I'm not gonna put all the guns away because I may need one. Tell you what though, if you're at my house, I got one on me, so don't worry, I got your back. But that said, Moms, you might have multiple kids. You can't be everywhere at all times. Maybe the way that you're dressed, maybe you got a pool party, uh, maybe you're in bed. You, any of you parents know that a little one gets up and maybe comes from their bedroom to mom and dad's bedroom. This is how you know it's gonna be safe. How fast to open it? Well, say go. Drew, you say go. Go. Go, he said go. He said go. I mean, that's pretty quick. That was one-handed. Let's try it again. And I don't even I don't even practice with this thing. Let's try it again. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Let me get that set up out of the way. Okay. Hey Mick, how you doing? Hey, good. Go. And this is not in a good position. What was that? A second or two? You know, I would normally have this on my bedside. Uh, I'd be like so, so I would have it like this on my bedside. And I do position it on my bedside. I know I've got my back to you folks right now, but I sleep. You know, I'm like this in my bed, it's over here. So I would reach over, hit the button, open, and I can grab the gun and deal with whatever's got to be dealt with. That said, our kids are adults now, but this is a great product for that. How durable is it? Our friend John Napolitano, for fun, took one of these, and John was a professional bodybuilder. His freaking biceps are like, bigger than my thighs. And I'm not super skinny, I'm a six foot tall, 200 pound man. His freaking biceps are this big. I mean, he's ginormous. He tried to pry it open with his bare hands and he couldn't do it. That's saying something. I mean, he's strong. This dude could bench press like 500 pounds. So what do we have here? We've got a very basic, simple, easy to use product that is durable. It's going to help uh, you secure your firearm when there's other people in the house besides you or your office, it is straight up negligence to leave a loaded firearm outside of your care and custody if there's other people that can get their hands on it. Think about what you're doing. No, this company doesn't pay me, not one red cent. I figured that this was a good public service announcement to you out there that need a product like this, the Stopbox handgun retention device. That's all I can tell you. I've been using it for about a year and I dig it, man. It works really good. They uh, have a limited lifetime warranty, it says on the box, and I dig this, made in America. Specifications, black PC ABS enclosure, soft foam lining to hold your handgun in place, combination adjustable instinctive lock feature, rubber feet for surface grip, fits most full-size handguns, including a weapon light. Press down, press your combination, lift open, draw your gun. It's very easy to use very easy to use. And these buttons, you literally can feel them and you push and do what you got to do. Mickey with CarryTrainer.com, Drew behind the camera. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, kick some ass.
799. Nah. What are we doing? The El Presidente. Why is it called the El Presidente? Well, Colonel Jeff Cooper designed this drill. There's a lot of people that talk about what the name is and why, but more importantly is what is the drill? Three USPSA IPSC targets. A zone hits are all that counts. The targets are 10 yards from the shooter. You are only making A zone hits. The shooter faces uprange on the start, spins 180, draws, fires two rounds into each target, reloads, and then fires two rounds into each target again for a total of 12 rounds. John and I will both try it. This is a good drill for some of you guys that don't have drills to train. There's a lot of different stuff happening here. Draw a little bit of movement because you're having to turn